Hi guys, in this video I'll be going over how to create dimension lines and the spacing and particular symbols that you need to use. So, as you can see in this design I've already added in dimension lines and now I'm going to go over how you go about setting them up and what each line actually represents. So, what we have on this side are three distinct lines. Our top line here, this symbolizes overall length. So that is the overall length of that particular view. It's pretty straightforward to remember. It's easy to do if you have your grid turned on. Our second line here, this symbolizes um, the wall thickness from our side view. So these details here and here, as well as the internal wall length. So this particular internal wall, this length is then projected up to here. And it would be the same for this wall to go to that side. It has to go onto this middle line. And these numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4, need to be adding up to this 14, 200. The third and final line here, these are external features such as windows and doors. So those are pretty straightforward. We have to measure the gap. And again, all these numbers that we have need to be adding up to this total. We can see that there are two extra zeros added to it. And that is because we're operating at the 1 to 100 scale. This is 4,500 millimeters in real life. In regards to completing your measurements, guys, and how you outline them, I'm just going to change the color here so it makes it a little bit easier for you to differentiate. This is a 10 mil gap between um, the side wall and our dimensions. And as we can see, I've left a little gap here of about 2 mil, similar to how we did our projection lines on our orthogonal drawings. The gap between each line, again, is also 10. Very straightforward to remember. And it'd be good to have a little bit left over, probably about 2 mil just because it'll make your life a little bit easier and makes it look a little bit cleaner. In regards to this symbol that you see that signifies a particular length or particular width, how you go about drawing that, I'll demonstrate that up here. Using your pen tool, it needs to be, and zoom in to make your life a bit easier, it needs to be about 3 mil long, and then it needs to have a 3 mil line going through it at a 45 degree angle. How you go about doing that, if you copy and paste that three mil line and then rotate it holding shift, that is a perfect 45 degree angle and then you can meet up with it in the middle. And that there is the symbol that you can use. And it should be the same stroke thickness as the line that you were drawing it with, whether that's 0.5, whether that's 0.3. And that is where you place it on the line and so forth. They're pretty straightforward to draw. Once you've drawn it once, you can simply copy and paste it and repeat it all the way through the lines. Dimensioning on the side, as you can see, our numbers have rotated like so. You can use the type on the path tool or once you've typed like so, let's say I type here, what you can then do is if you use your selection tool, you can right click and turn it into outlines by pressing create outlines and that turns it into a shape that you can then easily rotate because type isn't particularly friendly when you want to rotate it so that's a good way to go about doing that a lot of your buildings will have empty spaces like this as you can see we need to dimension the entire width and as we can see this line extends all the way down to represent this wall here and as you can see, there's not a lot of features on this particular side wall, except I have shown that the internal length of this wall here is shown on that second line just here. And this particular window has been shown on this line just here. I would do the same if I was doing the bottom view. I would extend the line from this all the way down here. And I would show the windows and doors on these dimension lines down here. We don't need to have dimensions for internal features such as beds or cabinets or, or other features. They're just not necessary. We want you to be able to show us external features such as windows and doors as well as the internal walls here in regards to length. 
If you have any questions, guys, please send us through emails. And I hope the video was a bit helpful.